I'm here today with Dr. Mark Allen, who has a PhD in neuroscience. Dr. Allen, can you tell us how functional MRI is useful for people with brain injury? Well, for certain kinds of brain injury, particularly mild TBI or concussion, that's probably where it's the most useful. Because with more severe brain injury, of course, all kinds of imaging are going to be useful. So it will show up on standard kinds of images that you would get in any hospital. So where fMRI really excels is with kind of more mild issues. Well, of course, these aren't the, the symptoms aren't mild. People who have suffered what's called a mild TBI are, you know, suffering non-mild symptoms, but nevertheless it's called mild TBI because the, the kind of damage that's been done to the brain is something that's a lot more fixable. But the important thing about functional MRI is that it's able to detect subtle things that have happened to the brain that other imaging um, technologies will miss. Okay, and, and it's because of what it detects is, is brain cells that are being inefficient. Not, not it, it picks up brain, so you have brain cells that are still alive uh, and they're perfectly you know, viable um, and they're almost healthy, but they're just not functioning the way that they are supposed to, so they're rehabilitatable. And so functional MRI does a good job of picking up those kinds of areas where there are brain cells that can be uh, brought back online. In terms of their functioning. Okay, and how do you use it for treatment? We use it in two ways. Okay, so the first way that we use functional MRI is to is to assess where the damage is. And what, when I say damage, I mean where these these unregulated areas are of the brain. Okay, and then the second is then that understanding where those inefficiencies are that are happening help us chart a course to you know map out so the therapists all have a roadmap to do the treatment with. So the the other thing is then in assessing the effectiveness of the treatment. Okay, so you do a scan, preliminary scan, and you get an initial assessment, then you do the treatment, and then you can do another scan and see how successfully uh, things have changed in the brain. Thank you, that's exciting. No.